We all know the fish that spawns only in rain worth 15,000 bells and is notorious for being mistaken for sea bass. But what about a fish in real life? Hello, your buckets. I'm Minipa, and I present to you the first episode of Fishy Facts. Today's specimen is going to be the elusive living fossil, the seolacanth. The first thing that is of utmost importance is how a fish is pronounced. I have personally pronounced it colacanth in the past, but it is indeed pronounced seolacanth. This ugly bastard was thought to have gone extinct 65 million years ago until some dude fishing for sea bass randomly found it in 1938. Wow, I wish that was me. When it comes to species, there are two. One living off the Comoros Islands off the east coast of Africa and another in the waters of Indonesia. The one in Animal Crossing New Horizons is the African one because the Indonesian one is literally the color of piss. The coelacanth has some weird skin characteristics and can probably be referred to as fish acne. In fact, people believe that their weird shaped fins actually represented an early step in evolution from fish to amphibians. This living fossil is an elusive, deep sea creature that can live in depths up to 2300 feet below the surface. With a lifespan of 60 years, this old ass fish can grow up to 6.5 feet and can weigh up to 198 pounds. The coelacanth's most striking features are the lobe fins that move like a horse's trot. It has a hinge joint in the skull, allowing the fish to widen its mouth for large prey like your mother, and an oil-filled tube serving as a backbone. Fun fact, a coelacanth's tiny brain only occupies 1.5% of its cranial cavity with fat filling the rest. Sounds just like the people who protested in Michigan. Got him! Anyways, thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of Fishy Facts. A huge thanks to my members, Vexjazz, Valzen, and Scar Daddy. Stay awesome. Make sure to subscribe, like, hit the bell, and comment for a chance to win a license to run with scissors. Peace, you shits.